Seattle from New York. So close. Fighter. And he passed away about almost two years ago. And then he requested uh, the fireboat uh, haul his uh, ashes over to Alki. Really? So uh, we scattered his ashes on, to, on Alki. That's nice. And also when we had the, uh, his funeral services over in Paul's Bow, uh, they sent this, this boat to uh, Paul's Bow. And in, in, in a reception that we had, it did this out to the tribal center to, uh, uh, to his memorial. So this is pretty neat. It's, it, I love this thing whenever it does this. Not always quite as beautiful. Look at that rainbow. Yeah, uh, the guy on board, Roy Davis, was uh, explaining about the relationship with your brother, who's uh, right. had his ashes. Uh... It was neat. Uh, nothing but cooperation from the fire department on uh, trying to. Uh, he died very young. You know, he was only like 52 or something. It was a uh, very unfortunate. Uh, he had a heart attack or something. So, yeah. but he was active, uh, active Seattle firefighter. Where was the station? Right there, oh, great. number no five, wonder, right here. He be, loved it. Yeah. He loved the, his commute because he would ride, <laughs> live on the reservation, and come across, and then walk next door to the fire stations. Oh, exactly. That is really neat. So when we go, we're going to go to Kayana Lodge, and they're going to go around to Suquamish down at the base of the parking lot. So they'll do this again. Oh, they're going to do it in Suquamish too? Because everybody's forming the line. Oh, that's great stuff. The Canoe Society's drummers are going to be behind them, behind the flags going up. And then I understand uh, the mayor and the governor and myself will lead uh, some part of the first line, and then the rest of the... Uh, the, wreaths. the wreaths are already there. You won't even have to touch it. There'll be parks. There'll be parks personnel who will walk them up. Um, no, or no words. Um, well, all the words will be done before, and then the, you lay the reason minutes. I think I have, I have, I have about two minutes. Nobody should. You have two minutes up here, and we go, and then we all then do a closing prayer, which also bless the food at the gravesite, and then everybody just race to the reception. You will have to take off. The governor will have to take off. Right. I, I don't know. I, we'll have, we'll see. Special effort. I called him, and he could give the whole morning, but he's coming up the other side. He has to race back. Race back. But uh, that's sorry. good. That's good action. That's. It was on the news this morning. It was kind of. It was kind of neat. They said that uh, the mayor and the governor and the sus the su 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 Suquamish oh, would be would be, uh, be beginning the. Uh, Beginning of the sesquicentennial. I can't even say sesquicentennial very well. Sesquicentennial. <laughs> if I say 600, it's like. Uh, I don't, I don't Good morning, know. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Spirit of Seattle. My name is Brent. I will be your captain for the past 50 years. Just in case. Board. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe, maybe Brass is going to be on the other side too. They're greeting us with those. The uh, the commanding officer of uh, Keyport and the commanding officer of Puget Sound Naval Shipyard is supposed to be there also. That's great. As well as uh, Northwest Regional Director Speaks. Now, was Mr. Speaks? Is he coming in? And by, I mean, I, I saw the, a partial list. Yeah. I'll get all three of you, and then. Okay. Yeah. Good. One, two, three. Sure. Grip and grin. <laughs> sure enough. First deck. On the first deck, there are just the behind. staircases on either side of the vessel. Same thing. There are just four of the staircases that just have to Thank you. If you wish to smoke on board the vessel, please do so. Next starts over here around the vessel. You're very knowledgeable about the boat you're riding on. The waters will be transiting, so please don't hesitate to ask any questions. The the cool story was my mom said that there was an Indian family. I think their name was Peters also that lived next door to the church, and she would get to. Uh, Go there on Sunday mornings after church and and eat fried bologna for uh, for oh, breakfast. That is but but you, but but you see, if you were a, a Indian kid in the Northwest in 1920, your diet was clams and deer and seafood and all this stuff. And that this non-Indian food was like 
wow, what's this yeah, stuff? So you know, know, what's this sugar stuff? That her off to boarding school, and she was born in 1915, and so when she got somewhere, and, and her big thing, she thought cornflakes was ice cream, I swear. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> we were raised on cornflakes. Right. Yeah, a pasta Isn't that great? Cool. <laughs> that's great stuff. Now what they needed was the old fire boat to Wamish out here, you know. Well, they probably wanted the Chief yeah. Seattle because... Exactly. Yeah. And he's going to do this again in Suquamish, they say. Yes. That's way cool. You should see they have a... David, they have a... They have a recording of when this did it, when they did it up in there. See, my brother was a firefighter and he passed away two years ago. And they, uh, and he, he was, he, so when he passed away, he requested the fire department come over and uh, do this. I mean, the other fire department, the other firemen wanted to do this. So they did a, we did a reception in Paulsbo. I don't know if you've been to Paulsbo, the Sons, Sons of Norway Hall, we were in this, in this uh, downstairs of the Suns there, and this was out front oh, doing it. It was oh, great, great stuff no, in this in this boat and instead of this. Oh, so it was pretty. The firefighters are a, bro a big brotherly group. Yeah, they are. Well, they got to be ready. They also are part of this. Being a canoe, and uh, my daughter's working her day job. We just don't have our crew to do it. And then you had mentioned that there could be some security security concerns. <laughs> Here comes these Indians in this canoe with all with all these other folks there, you know. No, I, I was more worried about this one, you know, being a, so many people on a boat at one time. But you know, not everybody. Well, I'm jumping. Everybody I'm jumping. Well, I do know this, that we have essentially closed off the center of Suquamish, where. Sound, sound like yours. <laughs> I, well, I, I, this is the fourth time I've done this this year. Oh, so. Wow. so, well, I, you know, when we were kids, we had a place on Bainbridge. When we went to church, as I said, at St. Peter's. And then when I was ordained a priest, I was very briefly at Tulalip, where all the records of Baptist Chief Seattle, Noah Self, the Godfather, and almost anybody that was baptized. Mm -hmm. Then I went. The big things that you'll notice on the beach here, there's a very large tree, tree trunk, just uh, laying on the beach. And some of you may remember seeing that in the movie, uh, TV show movie, uh, Twin Peaks. So once again, as we uh, disembark the vessel, please uh, watch your step out here on the dock. And we will be disembarking from the port side, left-hand side of the boat. It's going to take us a few minutes to tie up, so there is no rush to get down there. Enjoy the rest of your day.